Hello everyone, after so long I'm back with a new video on a new topic. Now this topic is covered in the biochemical engineering and bioprocess. So the topic for today is mass transfer. So first of all the question comes that what is mass transfer exactly? So mass transfer is the transport or transfer of molecules or components in a mixture or a fluid liquid from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. The mass transfer is basically done to destroy the concentration gradient. So first of all we know that mass transfer is classified as into two. The first one being molecular diffusion and the second one being convective mass transfer now first of all the question arises that what is the difference between these two now molecular diffusion as diffusion is the word we have been studying since since the sixth grade diffusion refers to movement of a molecule from a higher concentration to a lower concentration to destroy the concentration gradient now molecular diffusion occurs whenever there is a mixture. The movement of component molecule in a mixture under concentration difference is referred as molecular diffusion. So all over we can say that the distinguishing word or the key word for molecular diffusion is mixture. Whereas in convective mass transfer, the mass transfer occurs in the presence of a bulk fluid motion. So in this our key word will be bulk fluid motion. So, now in molecular diffusion, the diffusion occurs in a mixture that means it can be salt water, it can be sugar water, it can be anything. There should be a solid and a liquid, solid or a gas. There should be a mixture of components. They can be liquid liquid also. But they, there should be a difference in the movement of molecule, in the concentration of one, at least one particular molecule. This is termed as molecular diffusion, whereas in convective mass transfer, where we considered bulk fluid motion, there should, there should be a bulk fluid motion. So convective mass transfer is distinguished or is divided into three parts, one being the liquid-liquid mass transfer, the other being solid-liquid mass transfer, and the third one being gas liquid mass transfer in all these we can see that liquid is the common one so this this mass transfer occurs when we have a bulk fluid motion that means we have a liquid which is higher in concentration which is in bulk in the mixture in in the mixture or in the in the beaker in which we are conducting the mass transfer on the other hand in molecular diffusion where we consider a mixture we consider two types of theories the first one being the diffusion theory and the second one being the film theory the diffusion theory we consider for a single phase system in which only one phase is there which is which has a concentration difference like in sugar water mixture like we have concentration difference of water or we have concentration difference of sugar so the sugar moves from higher concentration to lower concentration and the water moves from the higher to lower so in we consider single phase whereas in film theory we consider different phases so all over we can say that mass transfer is divided into two different parts molecular diffusion and convective mass transfer in molecular diffusion we consider the mixtures whereas in convective mass transfer we consider bulk fluid motion which consists of liquid liquid mass transfer gas liquid or a solid liquid mass transfer whereas in molecular diffusion we consider two theories which are very important the first one being the diffusion theory and the second one being the film theory in diffusion theory we consider a single phase system such as solid or uh, solid liquid like sugar water in which one component is there with a concentration gradient and in film theory we consider different phases such as aqueous organic phase etc in which different different components are in different concentrations so there is multiple mass transfers going on 
in this video we'll consider only on the molecular diffusion part we'll, we'll discuss about the diffusion theory and the film theory and how it is conducted remember this topic is very important from your competitive exams point of view such as gate gre etc because bioprocess is a topic is a is a subject which is widely asked in these examinations so today we are going to consider the molecular diffusion part okay so initially in the first phase we are going to study about the diffusion theory the key word which we should remember in studying mass transfer is whatever we are doing jitna bhi hum kar rahe hain isme everything is to destroy the concentration gradient so this is a key word this is a key sentence we can say ki hum concentration gradient ko hatane ke liye so that we attain an equilibrium in a mixture or in a whatever it is component or a uh or a solution we need an equilibrium so we are doing mass transfer to destroy the concentration gradient now moving on to the diff diffusion theory so, okay so we contain a system which contains a and b this is a system in which we contains a and b molecules okay? so in this we consider our assumption first assumption is that b is constant b is an equal concentration b is not going under mass transfer so we consider this to be a single phase system that is the concentration of a varies so our first assumption is b is constant the second the second assumption is concentration of a varies from let's say ca1 to ca2 now according to a mass transfer theory we know now we can say if the concentration is varying from a1 to a2 so a1 is the higher concentration and a2 is the lower concentration okay so now we can say that the concentration of C, the concentration of a that is ca1 to ca2 it covers under a distance y okay so now we can say that the molecules of a will diffuse from region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration to achieve a uniform composition and it moves to the length of y or the distance y now this thing this diffusion is considered if there is no external stirring or mixing or agitation anything happening so this happens under no external force this is happening on its own this this is a random movement of molecules now through a figure we can say that we can say that ca1 now this is concentration of a ca and this is our y distance now we can say that the concentration moves from ca1 to ca2 okay so this is happening from ca1 it is moving to ca2 from higher to lower and under the distance y now this is so our direction of mass transfer is this this is our direction of mass transfer now we assume in diffusion theory to calculate that how much mass is transferred we assume that the mass transfer of a occurs across an area a now we consider area a now this is our area a now our mass transfer occurs across an area a which is perpendicular to the direction of mass transfer so through perpendicular we can calculate the rate of mass transfer so that's why we consider that mass transfer is area a area basically means the the area of our you know uh, of a vessel of a beaker also we consider like in this see if mass transfer happens from a to a from a1 to a2 now this happens like this so it happens under area a no so this is perpendicular only so we consider that mass transfer occurs from a1 to a2 under area a or across area a which is perpendicular to the direction of mass transfer direction of the diffusion so we can calculate the rate of mass transfer in a single phase system so our rate of mass transfer that is our mass flux that we depict by ja is equal to the rate of mass transfer of a n is the rate of mass transfer of a upon the total area it is covering so mass transfer or mass flux total is ja with dip, which is equal to the rate of mass transfer of a how much mass transfer occurs of a 
upon the total area flux is always we calculate flux related to area so this is our mass flux which we which is equal to minus dab that is the concentration of a it, the minus sign is because the concentration of a is going from higher to lower so that because the concentration is decreasing from an area from a point towards the other point so we consider this so we apply a minus sign because the concentration is decreasing of of one point so we consider dab dca that is the change we, we we are considering the derivative so the change in the concentration of a and the area and the total distance it is traveling so this is our mass flux whereas ja is the mass flux na is the rate of mass transfer of a dab is the binary diffusion coefficient or diffusivity of a in a and b so dab is binary diffusion coefficient so this is our total diffusion theory in which in a mixture containing a and b we consider one component to be con constant and the other is moving from a higher concentration a1 to a lower concentration a2 under an area or across an area a and discovering distance y so the total mass transfer is calculated in with this formula with its particular units so all over we can say this diffusion theory diffusion theory is applicable for single phase systems this is applicable for single phase system now moving on to the other theory which is the film theory so the second part of our molecular diffusion is the film theory now the key word for film theory is that it is the mass transfer between the phases different phases we consider uh, the transfer of a molecule or a component from one phase to another phase and it involves the transport from bulk of one phase to the phase boundary or interface so in this what happens this is our phase one from this it goes to the interface or the boundary at where the phase one ends and it moves to the phase two so in this we consider a system in which consider there is water and there is chloroform so so this area is our interface where these both end so this area is our interface so it moves from the phase 1 to the interface or the boundary and to the phase 2 so it is the mass transfer of solute from one phase to another phase and it involves the transport from bulk of one phase to the phase boundary or interface and then to the bulk of another phase so in this the mass transfer boundary layer forms when there is a contact between two phases this is a boundary layer which forms when there is a contact between two different phases such as water and chloroform oil and water etc now we consider suppose this is a th there is a component a now a component is initially at higher concentration in the aqueous phase this is our aqueous phase so a we consider that a is at higher concentration in aqueous phase than in organic phase so our component a now this is a third component which moves in these two phases so our component a moves from aqueous phase to the organic phase through the boundary is that clear so according to film theory according to our film theory turbulence in each fluid disturbance in each fluid dies at the phase boundary so at phase boundary there is no disturbance so then no mass transfer takes place at phase boundary a very minimal mass transfer takes place at phase boundary at interface there is no change in concentration so the concentration only changes between the phases so we we assume now now we assume let us draw the figure of this. Okay. Now this is our aqueous phase. And this is our organic phase. Now we consider a boundary layer between these two. Now this is our boundary layer. Okay. So we consider that a film forms a stagnant fluid film exists on either side of the interface which hampers which does not hamper the mass transfer so due to this film which is like this is the film on the either side now this uh, across the phase boundary so due to this film no disturbance in mass transfer occurs so we consider this as organic film 
and we consider this as the aqueous film now we consider a component a so initial concentration we consider a1 as we always consider now this is at higher concentration in aqueous phase we are considering so it moves from aqueous phase to the interface boundary now the concentration at the interface boundary is said to be ca1 i i stands for the interface thing now we assign a different concentration at the phase boundary because we think that there may be minimal mass transfer occurring at the phase boundary so there can be a concentration change so we consider a different concentration at ca1i this can be same as ca1 or it can be different also now from ca1i it moves to the organic phase interface concentration and further the mass transfer occurs to the organic phase where there is lesser concentration so basically concentration of a changes near the interface a little bit change only ca1i and from ca1 now ca1i is deferred is uh, is referred as the interfacial concentration of a now i stands for interfacial concentration so ca1i is interfacial concentration in aqueous phase and ca2i is interfacial concentration in organic phase so basically yeah so basically in film theory we consider mass transfer between phases we have two different phases suppose water and chloroform and a component a moves from higher concentration to lower concentration so we assume that a is at higher concentration in the aqueous phase and it moves from aqueous phase to the interfacial film and further to the organic phase so in this way our film theory happens our film theory indicates that there is a film formed at the interfacial region which is responsible for minimal mass transfer and through that only our a is able to to move from one phase to another phase so basically these two were the theories of molecular diffusion of mass transfer molecular diffusion one was diffusion theory other was the film theory the notes i have attached two to three pages of notes and i have attached the link also so you can refer them if you want we'll see you in the next video with convective mass transfer bye